Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So today we are back to work on these. Yeah, these little canvases that we did the um, collage on. I went over it with some uh, acrylic gesso, just really lightly. Um, I don't know when I'm done if you're actually even going to be able to see this, so I may have did all of that for nothing. So the next step in what I was wanting to do is I do have some Ranger Distress Crackle Paste uh, Ope. Um, and this, from reading it, and I'm watching Timmy some more because I have no idea what I'm doing here, um, is you can stain this once it dries um, with ink, stain, paint, or crayon, and blend with water. Um, so I'm thinking what I want to do because I want some of it to have that crackle look. But then I also want to stencil some of it. And my goal here with these is to do some patina to make them look old. I do have, let me grab it real quick. Um, not going to grab them all, but it's this, um, this is Finnabar. And it's the patina effect paste. And I got like four or five different colors to make that effect with. Um, actually, two, four, six. Um, six different ones. So, um, I will be gluing like some gears and keys and different stuff on here before I do the patina. Um, but yeah, so this is just kind of our trying to get our bases ready. Um, so, I was thinking was maybe we could stencil some at the bottom on one and then just do some crackle at the top on another one. So, I guess we'll go ahead and start with this crackle. And it's brand new. I just have never opened it as long as I've had it. Um, so, I'm thinking that you just put it on here. And then I'm hoping when it dries, it will crackle. I think it's how this works, guys. Um, I guess we'll see, right? Whenever it's done. So we'll put some there. And then maybe some. Maybe a little bit across the top. Again, guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. I am new to using all this stuff that I've had in my stash literally forever. I'm not sure how thick or thin you're supposed to have this in order for it to crackle. All right, so I think that's enough crackle on that one. And then I think on this one, we will do the opposite and put it on the bottom. And then we'll stencil on the top. So, just experimenting here, guys. That's all we're doing. Okay, that one's on the bottom. This one, um, I have no idea. Let's see. Let's maybe, maybe corner and corner on this one. How about that? Um, I was watching his demos, but about, um mediums and I really didn't you know watch it all and I probably should had um so that I could see how thick or thin because you know this stuff's not cheap so I did you know don't want to waste it if I can get away with a thinner layer now I had a um oh here it is Let's see say I had a cloth somewhere. So we'll go ahead and take that off because next we are going to use the textured paste. Or what I use is joint compound, guys. Because, again, the texture paste. And if you can make this, you guys let me know. I don't know if you can or not. Um, okay. Try to keep it on the paper. Okay. So now, this one, we are... Oh, heavens. I have no idea. Let's put that there. At least give me a little bit more room to do something. So on this one, we're going to stencil at the bottom. So I have this one. This is Tim, Tim Holt, Stampers Anonymous. 
And this one is, I don't know why they do those numbers like that. Okay, THS026, and this is the Damask. So I was thinking maybe we could do some of it down here. Um, maybe we could just turn it that way. Probably shouldn't have tried to do these at the same time. This is really, really cheap. This is the Drytex. Um, my husband got this for me at uh, Home Depot quite a while ago because I never use it. And it goes on pink, and, and it when it dries, it is white. Okay. Again, I seriously have absolutely no idea what I'm doing here. Okay, so I think we got it on there. Yep, that looks good to me. And I think it'll look good once we're done because... Um, we are going to be... I mean, some of it will be covered up because of the stuff that I'm going to put on there, I hope. Anyway, we'll see. Okay, so there's that one. So now on this one... Yeah, because that's at the top. On this one, I think I will use, just use this and go up to about there. So let's see how this one goes. Sorry if my arm is in the way there. some over here somewhere somewhere somehow maybe like that yeah okay feeling all weird here kind of at a weird angle, but we'll see. Hold that down there. Okay. Oh, cool. There's that one. Okay. As long as we get some crack a lacking going on here, we'll be doing good, right? Okay. Where am I going to put it? Where am I going to put it, guys? Okay. I'm going to put it behind me. I still have the big one over here as well. That I still need to work on. Okay. So, this is the top. So this is at the bottom. And I wanted to use these numbers here. So. Maybe we will do that. Guys, I have absolutely no idea how this is going to come out, or what I'm even going to do with it next. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I seriously have no clue. I 
Okay, I like that. So now, I'm thinking we'll do these numbers here. That's going to hit those. So we'll just do this here. Let's see how that comes out. Yep, still feeling weird, guys. Sorry. It's just the way I'm holding the stencil and trying to do this. Okay, well, not great. One kind of spattered, but maybe we can. All right, so all that needs to go in the sink and get them washed up. All right, so that one will actually be this way. So hopefully, hopefully these will turn out okay, guys. All right, so I'm going to set this one over here to dry. Yeah, we're going to set it over there to dry. And I'm trying to figure out if I want to go ahead and try to do the big one or what we're going to do. Um, let's see, because I have a mess here, nothing else quick to get my hands a hold of. Let's, because I'm not sure what I want to do with that other one yet. I'm thinking I may want to, instead of doing a mixed media this way and doing that patina and grunge look, I'm actually thinking on the big one, um, it does have all that paper on it. Um, and I also distressed around the edges and I kind of like that the way that looks going. I may do that some kind of vintage shabby chic. So I think for today, we're going to go ahead and call this a video. And then hopefully, you know, at some point, I will figure out exactly what I want to do with the big one. But I'm going to watch the videos again. I found one lady um, and I saw her and right offhand, I can't think of her name. However, that video is four years old and on her channel, she has not posted a video in three years. Um, but I will look and find it when we get to the point where we're doing what she's doing, which is not right now. Um, I will link hers in the next video because the next video we should be trying to find some things for a vocal point here. Um, and I'm thinking about gears and keys and just different things like that to give it that, um, uh, what do you want to call it, steampunky, um, grungy patina look. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I really, really do appreciate you guys. You're all amazing. Absolutely want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support. I love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.